Iceland's biggest volcano on brink of eruption as swarm of large quakes threaten disaster. Iceland's biggest volcano and second highest peak could be set to erupt after several strong earthquakes struck the region. Last week the 6,591 feet tall Bardabungi volcano was shaken by four of the largest earthquakes since its last eruption was sparked in August 2014. A lava field and huge volumes of sulfur dioxide erupted from the volcano, plummeting air quality in Iceland and reaching as the UK and Ireland, according to the nation's Met Office. The eruption period was not officially declared over until six months later in February 2015. Now experts fear that several earthquakes, measuring magnitude 3.9, 3.2, 4.7 and 4.7 on the Richter scale, which struck the Caldera region last week may be signs of an imminent eruption from the 10,000-year-old Bardabunga volcano. The 2014-2015 eruption had been preceded by a swarm of around 1,600 earthquakes over 48 hours. Paul Inarsson, a volcanology expert at the University of Iceland, revealed the latest quakes were part of a series that have been in progress for two years as he warned Bardabungal is clearly preparing for its next eruption within the next few years. According to the Catalogue of Icelandic Volcanoes, a joint project run by Iceland's Met Office, the University of Iceland and Civil Protection Department of the National Commissioner of the Iceland Police, Bardabunga's activity level is high although the warning code is green, meaning the volcano is in a normal, non-eruptive state. The catalogue of Icelandic volcanoes revealed that if the subglacial stratovolcano Bardabunga was to erupt again it would likely trigger flooding in the region after hot ash and lava melted up through the ice cap of the Vatnajökull glacier. It said, a large fissure eruption on the southwest, SW, part of the fissure swarm may extend across Tungna River, obstruct water flow and cause temporary dams and unstable lakes. Floods through breach dams could be of the order 10,000 cubic meters per second. Warning period for an eruption on the SW part of the fissure swarm is unknown, but likely to be similar to that in the northern part of fissure swarm. Eruptions on the ice-free fissure swarm outside the Vyjovitn area will be predominantly effusive and could release 1 to 4 cubic kilometers of lava and significant amounts of tephora. Lava can extend tens of km from source, e.g. the 35 kilometers long Frambruni lava flow in 13th century CE. Depending on the location of the erupting fissure, lava flows can reach power stations on the Tungna River. A considerable amount of magmatic gases will be released from the erupting fissure and the cooling lava. Disaster expert Dr. Simon Day, of University College London, said the earthquakes could precede a large explosive eruption and consequent widespread ash fall. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to us on YouTube. If you like donate to us visit home on the page PayPal.